Hi dears, welcome to mathematics class. Our topic is proof of a to the power of n, b to the power of n, times b to the power of n is equal to a times b whole to the power of n for all values of n. First state, when n be a positive whole number, so then a to the power of n times b to the power of n is equal to a times a times a times a, n times, n times means a lot of times, all times b times b times b times b, n times. That is equal to a b times a b times a b times a b n times and that's equal to a b a times b n times and so then a to the power of n b to the power of n is equal to a b all to the power of n second state when n be a positive fractional number. In this case, we have n is equal to p over q. Means that so p is p is equal to n times q. P and q are positive numbers, or positive whole numbers. We write that a to the power of p times b to the power of p under the root of q is equal to a to the power of instead of p we can write nq a to the power of nq times b to the power of nq under the root of q and that's equal to a b all to the power of nq under the root of q we take out of the uh, root of q out of the root and become and ca comes to the de denominator and is equal to a b to the power of in q over q. q cancel with the q and is equal to a b to the power of n. In other case, same thing, a b a, a to the power of in q times b to the power of in q under the root of q is equal to a to the power of nq over q can right here we can first multiply it or then take on uh, the same power now and we separate a to the power of nq over q times b to the power of nq over q q cancel with q and here also q with q a to the power of n times b to the power of n therefore a to the power of n, b to the power of n is equal to a b all to the power of n. Here I repeat for you, proof of a to the power of n times b to the power of n is equal to a b to the power of n for all values of n. First state, when n be a positive whole number, a to the power of n times b to the power of n is equal to a times a times a times a n times all times b to times b times b times b to n times. That's equal to a b times a b times a b times a b n times. That's equal to a b n times all to the power of n. So a to the power of n b to the power of n is equal to ab to the power of n. Second state, when n be a positive fractional number, in this case we have n is equal to p over q, because p over q is a fractional number, so p is equal to n times q. p and q, these are two numbers, are positive numbers. We write that a to the power of p times b to the power of p under this root of q is equal to a to the power of instead of p we can write nq times b to the power of nq under the root of q is equal to a b to the power of nq all of them 
under the uh, root of q that's equal to ab we take the q from square from the root and kind of come to the denominator and q over q and q cancel to the q that's equal to ab to the power of n and also the same thing a to the b a, a to the power of n q times b to the power of n q under the root of q we can See, uh, write both of uh, the, these numbers separately under this root of q a to the power of n q over q times b to the power of n q over q q cancel with q and q cancel with q that is equal to a to the power of n times b to the power of n therefore a to the power of n b to the power of n is equal to this a to the power of n times b to the power of n is equal to a b to the power of n. Further state, when n be a negative number, in this case, n is equal to negative p. So a b, a times b to the power of n, is equal to a b to the power of negative p. When, uh, when you know, if, if you want to change the p from negative to positive, we should bring this to the uh, denominator of uh, the, uh, this one, 1 over, or we make it inverse, the inverse of ab to the power of negative p is equal to 1 over ab to the power of positive p. Because p is a positive whole number, 1 over ab to the power of p is equal to 1 over a to the power of p, b to the power of p, and uh, now we change this again to the negative, so uh, we, we inverse that one, it means that uh, a to the power of negative p times b to the power of negative p over a 1. When the denominator is 1, that's the same now, the, uh, its own number, a to the power of negative p times b to the power of negative p, and it, that's equal to negative p is equal to n a to the power of n times b to the power of n therefore a b to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n times b to the power of n i repeat for you further state when n be a positive negative number in this case n is equal to negative p a b is equal to a b to the power uh, n to the power of n is equal to a b to the power of in the steel of n we will replace the negative p and uh, uh, if you uh, want to make this one positive we should inverse the, this one that's equal to 1 over a b to the power of p because p is a positive whole number 1 over a b to the power of p is equal to 1 over a to the power of p times b to the power of p now uh, if we change it back to the uh, negative uh, state uh, uh, with the negative signs we inverse this one means a to the power of negative p times b to the power of negative p and that is equal to a to the power of negative p is equal to n and b to the times times b to the power of n therefore a b to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n times b to the power of n. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video with your family and friends. And please press the notification bell to get notified for more videos. Have a great and wonderful day and nice. Bye bye.